Hi, it's Greg Lachlan here from the Mariner Safety Series. Check out these neat little ebooks on the website you see at the bottom of the screen. This movie is about wave heights in deep water, and I think you'll be quite surprised when you see just how big waves can become, given enough time and enough wind. This figure is based on data that was provided by the US Survey Corps of Engineers and should be useful in deep water anywhere. It shows potential wave height in metres for wind between 10 and 60 knots and duration from 1 to 50 hours. Before looking at specific examples, there are two important messages in this figure. The first is that small winds produce small waves which don't grow much in time. The second is that big wind produces big waves which continue to grow and they can grow to menacing size. So if you're out there in the open ocean, consider this seriously. This is wind speed here, this is wind duration and these lines are wave height. There's one meter, two, three, all the way uh, up to about 16 meters. That's a monster wave. Let's start at 10 knots. As you can see, 10 knots blows for 10 hours, you're still way under a meter. 20 hours, 30, right up to 50, you can see it's still under a meter. So 10 knots is not going to cause you too many problems. That is, unless a meter wave is going to be a problem for your boat. But that's going to change. We go up to 20 knots here and you can see it reaches one meter in just a few hours. It reaches two meters here in about 15 hours and if the wind continues to blow the waves could get up to close to three meters if it blows for 50 hours. Now as we go to 30, the third example, that's a pretty strong breeze and you can see the side of this hill, if I could call it that, is getting very steep. So in 30 knots you can see you reach 1 meter very quickly, 2 meters in just a few hours, 3 meters. Now these are pretty serious waves in under 10 hours and if the wind keeps blowing all the way up here you can see it gets up to um, 5.5 to 6 meters in 50 hours. That's a big wave. And remember every 2 or 3 hours a wave twice that height is likely to come along. That would be a very big wave. Now let's look at our last example now in 40 knots. You can see it's very steep up here. We go one, two, three meters, as you can see in just a few hours, four meters, five meters in under 10 hours. That's a big wave. Six, seven, eight, right up to nine meters if the wind blows for 50 hours. I don't want to explore this end of the graph because it's just too scary, but you can see that it's possible to get waves if you've got enough wind and enough time right up here around 15 to 16 metres. Big winds produce big waves which continue to grow in time. Please use this figure to get some idea of just how big they can become. It's Greg Lachlan here for the Mariner Safety Series.